Okay, during a recent PSG match, Luis Enrique subbed Kylian Mbappe off at halftime. And the reason being, he says, sooner or later, we will play without Mbappe. We have to get used to that. Kylian Mbappe has been PSG's best player since he joined them in 2017. Well, I guess minus one year. But losing Mbappe is going to be devastating for PSG. They'll still be one of the richest clubs in the world, but there's certain things that money just can't replace. How will PSG recover after Mbappe leaves? In today's video, we're going to find out, as it's our job to rebuild PSG without Kylian Mbappe. He's signed for Real Madrid, finally. So it's now up to us to figure out how to make PSG the best team in the world and win their first ever Champions League trophy without Kylian Mbappe. So drop a like down below. Also hit that sub button if you've not, and let's get into it. So Kylian Mbappe has gone off now to Real Madrid, and he looks so happy to be there. And we now have to transform this team here into the best team in the world. Now, I don't think it's going to be easy, but with or without Mbappe, we got cash at PSG. So there's definitely a path to winning a PSG's first ever Champions League trophy. So season one officially begins and we got some work to do. So looking at the squad without Mbappe, obviously it's a lot weaker. Our two best players being Dembele and also Captain Marquinhos. We got players though, like Skriniar, like Hakimi, Ugarte, of course Iamri, who's one of the highest potential kids in the game. So there's foundations here for like a Champions League contending team. I just don't think that's what this team is right now. And it's going to take some work. Now we have one role in this rebuild and that is we can only make two signings per season. That'll make this challenge a bit tougher. So we got to be smart with that 300 million. Now my first move though is not going to be actually buying a player. It's going to be bringing a player back and that player is Xavi Simons currently out on loan at Leipzig now in a post Mbappe at PSG I feel like Xavi Simons is the next player to take that mantle as like our star player the main focus of the team so we're gonna recall him from his loan and he becomes kind of like our new Mbappe maybe if he can live up to that so because of that we are gonna play a 4-2-3-1 mainly to get Xavi in that middle spot that number 10 spot so he becomes like the centerpiece of this team now in this first season I think the defense looks pretty good in Akimi, Marquinhos, Skriniar, Hernandez and also of course Nomendez, Kimpembe I feel like we're good on defense kind of same thing with the attack I think Kolomowani, Dembele, Xavi Lee Kang in also Asensio Barcola and Ramos. That's a solid attack. I think for our second move in this first season, a new like number eight box to box mid is the most important thing here. That would truly like set the foundation for this rebuild. Now, a player that I was gonna think about that has been linked in real life a lot is Bernardo Silva. Now, my issue with Silva is now we have Xavi Simons. I feel like they're very similar players, or at least they play in similar spots. I think next to Xavi in the midfield and next to Yagarte, I want more of like a box to box kind of stronger midfielder. And the player that fits that bill is Leon Goretzka from Bayern Munich. I mean, this dude is just a beast. If you look at his stats, he's one of the most well rounded midfielders in the game. He's 6'2", so he can defend, he can attack, he can pretty much do everything. So I want to pair him alongside Xavi Simons in our midfield. So we're going to offer about probably 6 to 7.5. Bayern are going to just flat out accept that. Okay, that's a lot of money, but obviously I think that's worth it. And hey, Leon Gretzka is looking for a new change in his career. He's been at Bayern Munich for a while, and now he is joining PSG as our first official signing of this rebuild. Xavi Simons, Leon Gretzka, I think this right here sets the foundation for how we can transform this team into the best team in the world. And that is our max two signings for the first season, so I feel like we can definitely probably win the French League. If we don't win the French league then that's gonna be a huge like disappointment the question is how far can this team here go in the champions league i don't think we could win it yet but i mean who knows so psg sign Gadetska, psg bring back xavi simones and we simulate season one and in season one psg are going to win the french league okay we avoid embarrassment there uh win the league by 13 points we should literally do that every single season but okay french cup is gonna go to uh not psg we got knocked out in what the round of 32 why we got knocked out by clermont i don't like to see that okay now champions league we finished top of the group of death that's pretty pretty good right there. Uh, four wins and two losses now. Round of 16. We beat Feyenoord 7-3 on aggregate. We scored so many goals there. So quarterfinals, we are going to beat Milan 3-2. We're in the semifinals. Season 1, Champions League semis. I'll take that. Now, in the semifinals, we are going to... We are going to get knocked out by Manchester United. We made it all the way to the semis to get knocked out by United. Like, what? And the final is Barca versus Manchester United. I guess that's way better than I expected, but we should have beat Manchester United to reach the final. Okay, Barcelona end up beating United, though, too one so they win the champions league so season one champions league semis we got the french league title i said that's not bad yeah one trophy is kind of what i expected the french league but champions league semis that's better than i expected actually so top score is actually lee with 22 goals and then ramos 21 chavi simones 19 and 11 that is going to see like double digit goals and assists for him that is exactly what we want from chavi simones okay though not a bad first season not bad Gadetska four and six in the midfield not bad now players have grown marquinhos up to 88 um dembele is 87 akimi's 86 plus two there chavi simones plus three to 84 that is really good to see i want to get him to like 88 at least in this video to become like the star of this team but okay not not a terrible first season we might be closer to this champions league trophy than i initially thought all right so season two now officially begins and okay our budget now has gone up even higher Tony, that money does not stop coming in now we have sold a player though or i guess the player has forced his way out of the club and that is gonzalo ramos apparently he wanted to leave and couldn't do anything about it so he's gone to atletico madrid i think we can live without him though so the question is what do we do with this team now in season two and even Ugarte is up to 84 so that's really good to see too he was an 81 at start so i feel like the midfield's good the defense still looks solid screen 
here has not grown, which uh, is a little bit worrying, but I think the defense looks pretty solid. I feel like in season two, we need the most important thing. We need like some star power in terms of a goal scorer. Because while Dembele, Kolomwani, and Lee Kanger, that's a pretty good front three. There's not really too much star power there. And to win the Champions League, you need some star power. So I'm thinking we make a huge signing here in season two. And that player I'm thinking about is going to be Heung-Min Sun. Now he's still at Spurs and I doubt they've won a trophy. So kind of like Kane, it might be time for him to move on. I mean, he is 31 years old. It's crazy. You don't realize how old he is actually. So he's in like the latter stage of his career. And I mean, either at striker or left wing, like he would be so good at PSG. And I think he's that star power we need. He's not killing Mbappe, but Davi Simons, Goretzka, and uh, Son. After losing Kylian Mbappe, that's three good players to fill that hole. And after a uh, Champions League semifinal appearance for us last year, this might push us to the final. So 85 million and Spurs are going to accept that. It's a lot of money for a 31 year old, but I think it's definitely worth it. So just like Harry Kane, Son has decided to uh, ditch Spurs and join a team where he has a chance to actually win trophies. Not only trophies, a chance to win the Champions League. So Son, welcome to Paris and welcome to PSG. All right. So along with signing Son, we also sold two players in Asensio to Barcelona and also Renato Sanchez to Real Sociedad. Now we sold Asensio to open up time for uh, Bradley Barcola on the bench because he definitely has a place in the future of this team. So I think that means Son will take Lee's starting spot for now, but I'm not sure about uh, that exactly. I think for now it just fits the best. So now a front four of Son, Simons, Dembele, and Kolo Moani. I like that a lot. Now we have one more signing though this season to make, and I feel like I'm looking at that. I think that center back spot. Skriniar has not grown uh, since season one. He is 29, so I'm not sure if he's going to grow at all. So if there's one spot that needs uh, needs reinforcements, I think it might be there. Now I like Bastoni a lot, but I can't see him leaving Inter really. It would take a lot for him to leave Italy, I think. A player that might make more sense is Pau Torres from Aston Villa. I mean, Villa to PSG is definitely a step up, at least in terms of like Champions League. And he is better than Skriniar. So I feel like it would not be a bad pickup by any means. All right, let's try like 70 million to start. Unai Emery is going to say yes to that. Yeah, definitely this is a defensive upgrade here. So Marquinhos, his new center back partner, Pau Torres. He definitely has a lot more room for growth than uh, Skriniar. And man, Son and then uh, Pau Torres. What a transfer window for PSG. So I think I might try to sell Skriniar, but of course, Pau Torres now starts. And yeah, Son and Torres have made this team now actually look so much better. Is that enough to like push us to now a Champions League final? I feel like Kolomowani up top, I'm not sure if he's like the best striker we could have for, uh, for a Champions League winning team, but we've hit our two max signings, so we got to stick with this for this season. It's just, is this team good enough now to win the Champions League? So new star player Son is settling in well at PSG, and we simulate season two, our second season without Kylian Mbappe, and in season two, PSG are going to once again win the French League. Only losing one game, actually. Hey, that is not bad. 11 points over Marseille. Good start to uh, season two. Now, French Cup is going to be won by, we lost the final to Nice. I was hoping for a French Cup this year, you know, I was hoping. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Okay, Champions League, the big one. Group stage, okay, our group was actually, our group was tough. Sporting Inter and Salzburg, that is tough, but we still finished first. Okay, good start. Now, round of 16, I, I am, I am done. I'm done. You have got to be kidding me. Round of 16, we get knocked out again by Manchester United 4-1. Like, bro, there's no way we got United in the round of 16. They knock us out again, just like the semifinals last year. There's no way. How does that actually happen? How do they even beat us? Our team is so good. Okay, so semifinal appearance, season one, season two, round of 16 exit. And then eventually it's a Barcelona again in the final, bro. What are Barcelona on? How do we get knocked out though in the round of 16? That makes no sense. Champions League is won by Barcelona for the second time in a row. What is Mbappe at Real Madrid even doing? He's let Barcelona win two Champions Leagues. Bro, what went wrong? Round of 16 exit? Man United beat this team? That makes no sense. But okay, top score of the team is going to be Sun with 30 and 14. Okay. Um, Colomani, 26 and 10. Okay, Dembele, six goals only. Barcola, nine. Gretzka, nine. Okay, we're missing that third score. Xavi Simone's only seven and four. Despite growing plus two, he had a terrible season. He's supposed to be like the star player of this team. Bro, what went wrong? I can't, I don't even know. Like, Xavi's up to 86. Sun is minus one to 86, but Dembele, 87. Ugarte, 87. Like, how did this team go so wrong? Pau Torres, 86. Nuno Mendes, 86. Like, how is this team? How do we get knocked out by Man United? I am sick. Bro, we were so close in season one. Now we're like back to the drawing board. Okay, season three now officially begins. And we still got about 300 million on our budget, but we might not have to go like completely back to the drawing board because this team is still good. There's foundations for like a Champions League winning team. I just don't know what went wrong. Like midfield three, 87 rated basically. Uh, Sun, Dembele still solid on the wings. Backups in Barcola, Lee Kang. Like this team looks solid. I feel like our one issue now is that striker, Kolo Moani. If we get like a striker who can pass more maybe to get goals for everyone else and also just someone that's higher overall, that might finally get us over the hump and get us to a Champions League final. Because I don't see anywhere else where we need to improve. So Kolo Moani is going to become the backup and we need a new starting striker in season three. And oh man, we got some very good choices here. We got Victor Osman, who's 91 rated. That's insane. We got also Vlaovic, Kane, and Alexander Isak, who's playing at Man United. Probably the player who would knock us out. I'm thinking though, Kane, Vlaovic, or Osman. My thing is here, I want to buy a player that's going to help everyone score, not just a player who can score himself. Because Kolo Moani like scored a lot of goals. I feel like we need a striker to connect 
rest of the attack though and if i'm being honest i think harry kane is that player he's got way better passing than both the osman and vlaovic he's more of a connector player and hey he's not won any trophies at bayern munich so maybe he wants a reunion with son and they can both try and finally win a trophy well, i guess kane can because son won the french league but my gut is telling me kane is the right choice osman might score more goals but i think kane is going to help everyone else score more while also scoring like a bunch of goals too so 115 million dollars they want 150 okay you just accept that 150 million we're paying that that's how bad we want this champions league trophy hey we know how much chemistry kane and son have on the field together so this might be the final missing piece of this puzzle here at psg harry kane is now in france and is this finally enough to win the champions league so moani becomes a backup and then kane of course starts up top and yeah with a 90 rated striker now you can see what that could make this team into pretty much like an average rating of what 87 88 there's no way we get knocked down the round of 16 again there's no way if we do then the video is over so harry kane signs for psg and we simulate season three our third year without killing mbappe all right end of season three if we get knocked out by manchester united again i am going to scream but in season three psg are going to once again win the french league three years in a row only a six point lead this time and that's a little bit concerning only a 77 points now french cup is is finally gonna be won by us three nil over monaco it took us three years to do the domestic double i guess i'll take it though now champions league bro i'm scared here i am so scared okay okay six and oh in the group stage i like to see that 18 points in a group with Bayern and ajax that is very solid now round of 16 we are going to beat inter 3-1 okay we advance that's at least better than last year is there no manchester united there's no manchester united how do they get knocked out i'm curious they finished they finished third in their group oh thank you marseille all right quarterfinals we are going to beat benfica 5-2 okay so back to the semifinals and in the semifinals we are going to beat ac milan 3-1 finally we have reached the champions league final and we are facing atletico madrid in that final like bro thank you it is about time and oh man xavi simons is 90 rated in that midfield oh that looks so good okay stats for the year harry kane 33 and 8 son 25 and 10 xavi simons 24 and 14 and then Gadetska 15 and 13 bro that is quite literally a perfect scoring season our front three all in 20 plus goals and then Gadetska with 15 and 13 my plan with kane being a connector might have worked it doesn't really show on his assist but i think he connected more in the midfield he got players more at chances and that son kane combo like you see it it's still there oh man xavi simone's 90 rated that's insane in three years bro look at his stats the kid is insane now son is sadly down to 85 that's kind of sad but ugarte 88 xavi 90 marquinhos 89 pator is 86 nuno mendez 89 akimi 89 bro this team is set up to win the champions league now and we don't need killing mbappe now one sad thing is i think lee king got sold i think he got tired being on the bench so he got sold but our bench is still so solid and it is now champions league final time all right so champions league final the team we faced that is the let it come your team they got of course gonzalo ramos so they got bove benesad marino it's definitely not they got colwell too it's not a bad team and they're set up in that formation that might be a little bit tricky to play against now for us we are pretty much full strength here i am so looking forward to finally using this team and let's see if we can win psg's first ever champions league trophy now one thing i'm noticing is we are playing the final in atletico madrid stadium now is that fair absolutely not this is rigged we're playing in their home stadium it's a home game for them how is that fair hopefully the psg fans show out in force today because we are in atletico madrid's house champions league final though at 90 rated xavi simone's leading the team can we win the champions league without killing mbappe we're gonna try we got the xavi the kane and the sun combo xavi great pass to kane this could be a great start. That's literally a perfect start. Xavi Simons to Harry Kane, and that's 1-0 in under five minutes. Oh, what a pass by Xavi. What a finish by Kane. That was way too simple. What a start to this final. Now, there is still a lot of time left, though. Is this PSG's year to finally win it? Kylian Mbappe looking very sad watching on his rival in Madrid in the final facing his former team. Jean Felix Bouvet gets it over. Gonzalo Ramos is going to score, and he's going to make it. you got to be kidding me. He's going to make it 1-1. We let them tie it up that easily and that quickly, and it's our former player, Gonzalo Ramos. How do we do that we just cannot do that oh everyone was asleep everyone is still celebrating the goal okay 12 minutes we need to lock in we see holes the defense we can score a lot of goals this game that is how we will win this trophy okay chavi we cannot lose it there that is bad felix felix against marquinhos marquinhos that is some good defending dembele to an 89 rated akimi son is calling for it son leaps for it but his header goes over the net oh marquinhos great tackle again okay defense is locking in here javi dembele get it back javi javi plays it to uzman dembele now okay i flicked it up to kane and it did not go to kane all right Gadeska, let's try the left side son get it to kane that spurs combo kane a great pass to mendez into Sun, who goes for the shot, and Old Black is gonna make the save. That was a really good shot by Sun. All right, corner in by Dembele. That goes right to Kane. Kane, you gotta get the header down. That was like a free header. Sun, Chavi gets it over to Ugarte. Into 
Chavi Simone's with a finesse shot. Oh, that felt good, but it goes over that. Okay, we're pushing though. We are getting more chances than them. Oh, they might get the final attack of the first half, which now Felix, dangerous. Marquinhos, Marquinhos. Couldn't make a tackle there. And instead, Gonzalo Ramos makes it 2-1. We are now losing in the Champions League final. Should I have kept Gonzalo Ramos because he has scored two against us? Okay, halftime, and we are down a goal in the Champions League final. Bro, we cannot lose this. We made it this far. We can't lose this. We need to absolutely lock in here. 45 more minutes. We need to tie this up first. One goal at a time. Vinetska plays it into Sun. There's space here. Sun. Finesse shot. Sun scores. What an instant response. Bro, their back three is like so disconnected. There is space there to exploit if we can and just exploit it. Great finish by Sun, and this is 2 2. Come on, I feel like this is our final now. We gotta keep like the momentum on our side. Just keep the ball away from Gonzalo Ramos. Mendez, great tackle there. Sun gets it to Gadetska. Gadetska is gonna find. Okay, why is that pass so slow? That was meant for Xavi, not Kane. Kane was offside. Sun has got Mendez. Mendez cross this in far post to Usman Dembele. Oh! What an attempted finish. He hit the post. Bro, Dembele, you could have just like headed that in. It didn't need to be that complicated. Xavi Simone's driving forward. Xavi in the box. Left-footed shot. And Old Black is going to make the save, though. That was literally a golden chance. All right, we're going to go short corner to Sun. Sun is going to get it back to... Okay, I'm not shooting there. Sun will shoot, though. Sun will shoot that across goal. Hyunmin Sun, what a finish. Are you kidding me? That far out to make it 3-2? Bro, what a shot. You can't give Sun that much space. Across goal, that is a beautiful finish. And that is 3-2 to PSG. Come on, this is our final now. We got, what, 25 minutes left? Just keep the ball still away from Gonzalo Ramos. Keep it away from him. And that shot was literally insane, though. I did not expect that from Sun there. He may have dropped, like, what, minus four? He's still really good. Come on, doling him through. No, this is not good. Dembele comes over. Dembele, okay, Dembele. No, Dembele, no. No, I tried to clear it. They just missed. Oh my, they just missed that somehow. That is the luckiest defensive mistake and miss I've seen in my life. This should be tie game right now. Gretzka into Xavi Simone's Xavi. Okay, he has space for a long shot for his own. Xavi Simone's, what a long shot. Are you kidding me? 79th minute, Xavi Simone's, the star of this team, may have just sealed the Champions League trophy. They should have tied it up on one end. And instead, Xavi Simone's does this from 23 meters out. Okay, no, Casal Ramos, please no. Okay, defense does well there. Casal Ramos again. Casal Ramos gets it to Batarina. Don't let him shoot. Don't let him shoot. Casal Ramos. He is doing moves here. Marquinhos, stay strong. Igarte, get it out. I think we've done just enough to win the Champions League final. Okay, Kane wants to score his though. Kane, Kane cuts inside. Goals are finished shot Kane. That shot was terrible. But ref, are you gonna blow the whistle? Ref? Uh, okay, we got a corner. But PSG, three years after selling Kylian Mbappe, have now won the Champions League. Man, Sun and Xavi's goal won us this final. And those were just two, like, beautiful, beautiful goals. So, Gonzalo Ramos and Atletico Madrid gave us a fight. But in the end, we win PSG's first ever Champions League trophy. And that is, of course, again, without Kylian Mbappe. Xavi Simons, though, totally delivered in this video. The fact that he's 90 rated, he had double digit goals and assists, scored the winning goal in the final. He did exactly what we needed him to. So Marquinhos is going to live for the first time ever the Champions League trophy for Paris Saint-Germain. And that is job complete. We have uh, made PSG the best team in the world after selling Kylian Mbappe. So if you enjoyed this video, then of course drop a like. And if you click on screen, I bet you'll like this video too.